don't do drip or money or fashion. I do art. For me, it's about art. That's it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. This is Art by Laugh, and today we've got another art challenge using some art dice. So these were given to me as a gift um, to use as like inspiration for different art pieces and whatever. So yeah. Yeah. I'm making a series out of these little challenges that I'm gonna do using the art dice. Here's the breakdown. Okay, so we got nine dice. Each one of the dice is supposed to determine a certain aspect of the painting or drawing, um, almost each one. The first three, the white ones, are gonna be for the subject. And then you've got the black one for the medium. And then we have color. Then we got style. And then texture. Oh, and then we have the setting and then the mood. Now we actually get to rolling. So I'm going to, as if I didn't just have this out already, <laughs> they got back in the box for some reason. Um, I'm going to start rolling. I'm going to take the, uh, the first three. So I'm going to take the first three and try to pick one of them at random. So I'm going to close my eyes, roll around, roll, roll, roll roll around and then uh, pick one at random all with my eyes closed and then we're gonna roll so uh, of course <laughs> all right uh, moving on to texture oh not texture um, oh no uh, medium right that's it so we got charcoal for the medium even though it's gonna be digital but I'm gonna make it look like charcoal, like I'm gonna use the charcoal uh, brush. Next one, color. Okay, <laughs> black and white, it is charcoal, black and white. Well, yeah, actually that fits pretty well. And then for style, we've got modern. I don't even know what that means. I had to look it up, uh, modern art, or how to, how to incorporate that. Moving on to texture, soft, smooth. How am I gonna do that? Anyway, next setting, cityscape. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting <laughs> drawing. And then last but not least, mood. Come on, give us something good. Sorrow, oh, of course. <laughs> Great, all right, so now we've got them all lined up. Let's get it cracking. So first of all, I just went straight for the subject at hand, garbage. And first thing I did was start with a garbage can. Whatever I you know, remember that that looked like, because I'm doing this more and more now, uh, not using any references. Um, so I did that, just whatever a garbage can looked like you know, in my memory, or a mix of what different garbage cans look like, whatever that was, that's what I, I went with. And here we have, a happy accident because I just started doing like a free form uh, shapes shadow thing on the garbage bag and then I look back at it and I thought oh wow that's like a drooping sad face Jabba the Hutt looking you know drooping sad face and I thought that fits perfectly and I'm just gonna chalk that up to my artistic genius <laughs> No, but anyway, that was uh, that was pretty good. Pleased with that. I uh, patted myself on the back a lot. Um, so I was riding a high and then went straight into a low because like I said before, I've been trying to draw stuff without looking at any references and I'm like trying to draw a mouse or a rat, I should say. And I'm like, what does a rat look like again? I don't know because how often are you are you seeing rats? Uh, yeah, not not that often. So. Unfortunately, I just gave up on the rat because I couldn't remember what it looked like. I wanted to go back and look and uh, look up a reference for a rat later, but um, yeah, that didn't win in the end in, in the ideas department. So yeah, that lost out. Also, the other thing is 
instead of like a hard time limit of 15 minutes or whatever, this time I was like, okay, about an hour of actual drawing time and then we're done. Because uh, I say actual drawing time because I started it one day and then of course I work full time. So the next day I come back and do a little bit. So I think it took me like two, three days maybe to actually finish this. Um, so yeah. I didn't want to waste time on the rat and whatever else that I just wasn't going to keep in the drawing or that I didn't, I wasn't vibing with. So I had to keep it moving. Um, now the setting, uh, mind you was a cityscape and there's two ways I looked at that. It's like the picture I was drawing was like a picture you, you would see in a city, like maybe down an alley in like a busy city. Uh, there's like this type of setup. Uh, uh, a garbage can, pieces of trash like on the side, boxes, whatever, just piled up. Um, more like trash bags strewn around, uh, big heavy trash bag leaking, like different types of fluids, all types of fluids <laughs> onto the ground, and a big dumpster, which of course says uh, crabs is a uh, you know, uh, fill in the blank. Um, everything has to have a SpongeBob reference, by the way, if you're new to the channel. Almost everything has to have a SpongeBob reference. But anyway, <laughs> the other angle that I was looking at was like this a lineup of the trash, trash can, boxes, dumpster, whatever, um, kind of looks like a, a skyline of a city, at least to me, that in my uh, weird mind. So yeah, cityscape is a thing you could see in a city. And at least in my mind, uh, I could see this like lineup uh, acting like a skyline as if they were buildings you know the dumpster is the big city government building <laughs> of course that's the dumpster and uh yeah the rest are like skyscrapers pretty much to me what bro what are you talking about man uh and if you see something different or you don't agree then you're wrong uh anyway now we get to some of my favorite parts of uh the drawing First of all, the, the bucket, this bucket that I just added for no reason, uh, I admit, um, besides the fact that bucket look, look nice to me, especially after I did the shading, can never go wrong with a good bucket and um, yeah, doing some more shading under the dumpster, on the dumpster, just to make this look a little bit more complete, even though it's just a, you know, a rough uh, drawing, but yeah, I'm excited to do more with uh, these, uh, these dice. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more with the art dice and with other stuff, other pieces I got coming out. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.